Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss chapter 22 from Grade Air Science that is the Earth and Space. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe this channel and for more updates, hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this, please like and do share these videos among your friends and don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. We know that Earth is the only living planet in our solar system. It contains the suitable conditions such as the presence of oxygen, water, suitable temperature, pressure, etc. for the survival of life. There are many undiscovered questions about the origin of Earth. Many scientists have put forward their views about the origin of Earth. The estimated age of Earth it is about 4.5 billion years. No universal theory of the evolution of solar system has yet to be propounded. The following are some of the famous theories of the origin of the Earth. First one is George Buffon hypothesis, which is also known as the palindesimal hypothesis. Old palindesimal hypothesis was put forward by a French scientist George Buffon in 1749 80. According to, according to this hypothesis, the Earth, along with all the planets and satellites, was formed when a comet revolving when a comet revolving collided when a comet revolving around the sun collided with it, and the materials get separated from the sun in the thread-like arms. The material cooled and formed solid particles. From that, planets along with Earth were formed. Second one is Kant. Laplace nebular hypothesis. German philosopher Immanuel Kant put forward a hypothesis named nebular hypothesis in 1755 AD. It was modified later by a French astronomer Laplace in 1796 AD. According to this hypothesis, the Earth and other heavenly body were originated from nebula. The nebula is a big mass of the dust, cloud, and gases. According to this hypothesis, nebula att attracted more dust particles, cloud and gases. When its mass increases, its gravity also increases but its size decreases. When it becomes smaller, it starts to, start to spin faster. As the surface got cooled by the radiation, a ring of matter was formed around the surface. The ring escaped from the surface of the main body and the planets were formed and the main core mass is known as the sun in this way solar system was formed next one is james jean and jeffrey hypothesis which is also known as the tidal hypothesis english astronomers saw james jeans and saw harold jeffrey proposed tidal hypothesis in 1970 according to this hypothesis a big star passed nearby the sun a long filament of gases was drawn from the sun by the huge gravity of the big star. The outer part of the filament escaped in the space and inner part came back to the sun. But the middle part of the filament details to a series of rounded structure of different sizes. They were planets. In this way, Earth along with other planets were originated. Solar System from Milky Way Galaxy According to this hypothesis, the sun was formed due to the attraction and collection of dust particles from the Milky Way galaxy. In the same way, other planets and satellites were formed from the dust and it started to revolve around the sun in their elliptical orbit. Causes of origin of uh, living beings are in the Earth. The main cause of origin of living organism in the Earth are as follows. Availability of uh, air necessary for organism availability of water in a suitable amount for organism, availability of suitable temperature, etc. So here is one question. Living beings are evolved after millions of years of the formation of the Earth. Why? The Earth evolved about 4.5 billion years ago. At the time of evolution of Earth, it was very hot and there was no suitable environment for the evolution and survival of living organism. So there were no life at the time of evolution of the earth.
the change of position of this earth and the sun the earth takes 24 hours to rotate about its own axis and 365 days to revolve around the sun an imaginary line passing through the earth center which joins the north pole and south pole is called axis the path we through which the earth revolves around the sun is called orbit the axis of the earth inclines at an angle of 66.5 degree on orbital plane it is not perpendicular to the orbital plane therefore the axis of the earth revolves around the sun making an angle of 66.5 degree the following effects are seen in the earth due to the inclination of axis at 66.5 degree the length of day and night is not equal at all the time and places except at equator sometimes day is longer and night is shorter whereas sometimes day is shorter and night is longer season keeps on changing on the earth the sunlight does not fall it said, all the time at a place it greatly affects the climatic condition the sun does not rise exactly in the east and does not set exactly in the west the height of sun at noon differs day by day four seasons appear in every year and these seasons are summer autumn winter and spring the sunlight falls perpendicularly on tropic of cancer on 21st june approximately osar 8 most of the parts in the northern hemisphere face to our sun at that time therefore the day is long and night is short in northern hemisphere the northern hemisphere is hot and southern hemisphere is cold in this period that's why summer season occurs in northern hemisphere and winter season occurs in southern hemisphere the sunlight falls perpendicularly on equator on september 23 approximately also 7 the length of day and night is equal in all parts of the earth at that time. The climate is neither hot nor cold but moderate at all places. In this time, the autumn season occurs in northern hemisphere and spring season occurs in southern hemisphere. The sunlight falls is set on the Tropic of Capricorn on December 22, approximately on Pus 7. The day is short and night is long in northern hemisphere at this time. Likewise, a day is long and night is short in Southern Hemisphere. The summer season occurs in Southern Hemisphere and winter season occurs in Northern Hemisphere at that time. Again, the sunlight falls east on the equator on March 21, approximately on Chaitra 8. The length of day and night becomes equal all over the world. The climate is neither hot nor cold in both hemispheres. In Northern Hemisphere, Spring season occurs and in Southern Hemisphere, Autumn season occurs. This cycle runs continuously in the Earth. So here is a diagram showing the Northern and Southern Hemisphere and Equator along with the Latitude. The diagram also shows the Equator, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Prime Meridian, Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle along with North Pole and South Pole. This is the diagram showing the position of Earth on December 22, March 21, 21st June and September 23. December 22. So it has shortest day and longest night whereas 21st June it has longest day and shortest night and on 21st March and 23 September days and nights are equal. Phases of the moon When the moon revolves around the earth various shapes of moon can be observed every day from the earth and this process is called phases of the moon. The moon changes its shape daily because of following reasons. The moon does not have its own light and it reflects the sunlight. The moon revolves around the earth in its elliptical orbit. Due to this, on different days, different bright or dark part of moon face towards the earth and we see the changing shape of the moon every day. When the moon is between the sun and the earth in the straight line, only the dark part of the moon faces us and we do not see any moon on the sky. And this day is called no moon day or the new moon day. When the moon makes an angle of 12 degrees, only a little bright part of its face of its faces the earth. This structure of the moon is called waxing crescent. The bright part goes on increasing to make an angle of 90 degree. The bright part of moon is seen in the form of hemisphere. This is called first quarter. When the moon reaches at 
angle of 168 degree, only a little part remains dark. It is called waxing gibbous. Ultimately, when the moon makes an angle of 180 degree, the moon is seen completely round, which is called full moon. This period in which the bright part of moon goes on increasing is called the bright half or the waxing moon. It completes in about 15 days. Now in the course of revolution, when the moon makes an angle of 192 degree, its dark part covers the moon slightly, which is called waning gibbous. When the moon reaches at an angle of 270 degree, the moon is seen at hemisphere again. It is called last quarter. When only a very little amount of bright part of moon is seen, it is called the waning crescent. At this condition, the moon forms an angle of 348 degree. Finally, after making an angle of 360 degree, again the moon is not seen in the east sky, which is called the new moon. The time period in which the dark part of moon increases is called dark half or waning moon. So here is a diagram showing different phases of moon. New moon, waning crescent, uh, third quarter, waning gibbous, full moon, waxing gibbous, first quarter, waxing crescent, and so on. Sidral month. The time taken by the moon to complete one revolution around the earth is called sidral month and its time period is 27.33 days. Synodic month. The time between two consecutive new moon and full moon is called synodic month. Its time period is 29.5 days. Now we are going to discuss some of the questions from this unit. The existence of life is possible only on earth. Why? The existence of life is possible on the earth because the earth has suitable condition of air, water, land and temperature. Days and nights are not equal on all parts of the earth. Why? Days and nights are not equal on all parts of the earth because the axis of rotation of the earth is tilted at an angle of 66.5 degree with its orbital plane. Changes of season takes place on earth. Why? Changes of season takes place on earth because the axis of rotation of the earth is tilted at an angle of 66.5 degrees and the earth is not always at the same distance from the sun due to its elliptical orbit. The climate of earth keeps on changing. Why? The climate of earth keeps on changing due to the change of season and global warming. Days and nights are equal in all parts of the earth in September 23 and 21st March. Why? Days and nights are equal in all parts of the earth in September 23 and March 21 because on those days the rays of suns fall perpendicularly on the equator. Difference between summer, summer season and spring season. Summer season. It is the hottest season of the year whereas spring it is the season that follows winter. Summer season weather is extremely hot whereas in spring season weather is moderate. Difference between autumn season and winter season. Autumn season it is the season that marks the transition from summer to winter, whereas winter season it is the coldest season of the year. Autumn season during this season temperature is moderate. Winter season during the season temperature is very low. Difference between synodic and sidral month. Synodic month it is the duration between two consecutive full moons or new moons, whereas sidral month it is the duration that moon completes one revolution around the earth. Synodic month its duration is 29.5 days, whereas sidral month its duration is 27.33 days. By this we have completed notes of this unit with the earth and space. I hope this video was useful to you. If you like this video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you have any queries drop the comment in comment section see you on the next video thank you